Hello and welcome to Strategic Finance Tips from the Startup Station. This is our new rubric that we're launching this month. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most common problems that startups have, which is stagnant revenue growth. So what is the situation that you may find yourself in? You built a great product and you were even successful in getting your first customers on board. However, lately something happened and you simply cannot convert customers at the same rate as you used to before and you don't really know why. You tried multiple things, nothing seems to work. You find yourself really in a situation where you can't move your business forward. Okay, what happens as a result is that the number of new customers decreases, obviously, and then sales cycles increase if you're selling B2B or customer acquisition costs increase if you're doing uh, B2C business, profitability decreases and your cash flows turn negative, right? And so your business gets to a point where it's in real trouble and you may be forced to go back to investors and tell them, look, I cannot really meet my goals and they will ask you why and you may not have an answer. So let's talk about why you may be in this situation, right? Why does this happen? You may have saturated your sales or marketing channels, right? So the way you used to sell no longer works, right? You have reached all the possible customers and you should really look for new customers or new ways to access them, right? Your sales strategy may not be working correctly, right? You may be targeting wrong customers or you may be targeting them inefficiently right? Or messaging may not work, right? Customers may not understand what makes you different, why they should buy your product. And if you're in a crowded market, this may really create a lot of issues for you. So what can you do, right? Obviously, you can address each point separately, right? You may need to adjust your sales strategy once you diagnose the problem. You may need to revise your messaging. And you may need to uh, identify new sales channels or customer segments if you reach the point where you have saturated your demand at some uh, uh, given area. What are the other reasons? Okay, um, and this will be where my expertise lies as a finance person. You may uh, run your operations inefficiently, right? You may um, not use technology to automate certain processes. You may not delegate your tasks enough. As a result, you focus too much on operations and not enough on growth, which results in you not being able to move your company's, company forward. And this is a very common problem for entrepreneurs where you know we always feel like we need to do everything ourselves, only we can do it correctly. However, you can grow a company if you have that attitude. You don't have a lot of engagement from your customers. This may affect your retention rates right, and increase your attrition rates. You don't really understand what they like, what don't, they don't like. Uh, and this affects word of mouth and brand awareness. And finally, you may have a problem where the infrastructure is not set up to handle growth, right? Where you are converting customers, but you may not be able to servicing them efficiently. Um, you may not be able to service them efficiently afterwards. So what can you do? Okay, what can you do to focus? Better is delegate, okay? You can research how to leverage technology to reduce cost and time to automate processes, okay? This is a very important uh, part of getting your business back on track is to look at it and see which parts of your business can be done more efficiently. This will both free up your time and save your um, money because your time as an executive is very expensive. Focus on customer loyalty. Right. You may be collecting feedback reviews, which will help you adjust your product, adjust your messaging, understand um, you know, how to even modify your sales strategy, etc. And finally, build your infrastructure to scale so that you are, if you are, are putting in um, place new strategies, new go-to-market strategies, new messaging, new automation of processes, your business can handle this influx of new customers. You're not going to be crippled by uh, not being able to service them. And um, here you go. These are the main reasons why you may um, be uh, experiencing stagnant revenue growth and what to do about it. So here you go. 
Uh, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips every week, and share this video with your friends and colleagues. If you want to chat more, if something still wasn't clear, there is a link in the description to a survey. And if you fill it out, you'll have a chance to win a free 30-minute consultation with us. And uh, as a token of our gratitude for your spending your time, we will send you a financial health checklist, which you can use to assess if your company is doing well. Thank you, and I will see you next week.